like any other day, boring complaining customers and no new subscribers to my channel. Hey, what's up you guys? Ah, oh, you stupid, stupid niece of mine. Ah. I'm so sorry, sir. Wait, what did you say? Also, I didn't see you there. Of course you didn't see me there. You and your whole generation, you're so self-obsessed, yeah. you don't even realize what a waste you all are. Well, someone is a born moron. And by the way, Rich Pants, I have 5K followers who adore me. How about you? Hmm, thought so. Any one of us could be the suspect. I mean, killers don't like men who don't like to eat. That nasty bastard had it coming to him anyway. Nobody liked him. Not even that smelly, fatso, hairball of a cat. I've studied many people in my line of duty, and there's just something different about him. Quite honest, I don't give a damn why someone would strangle the rich slob. Damn town should have half decent liquor to offer. I wonder how much that Mr. Graves is worth, with all his life insurance and all, you know? I don't care. I was the one that found the body. I'm surprised it didn't fall through the cracks of the floor. That man was so damn skinny. Maybe that's why he was all tangled up in the banister. I swear that banister was thicker than his waistline. this business for years and have never had a situation like this happen before. <sighs> it's just so horrifying to think that something like this could have happened right under my nose. Oh, Miss Blaze. Hello. Ah, oh, Mr. Graves. I can still uh, see you're still chasing the money. Mm, yes, I was thinking of stopping by your quaint little B&B uh, before my bank forecloses on it. I hear it's got the finest pens in town. Well, um, if you stay as a guest, we I would be more than happy to have you as a guest. And we had the best of service in town. Mm -hmm. I will be seeing you around. Dough? Like cookie dough? No, dough as in money dough. Duh. 
No, y'all, Mr. Bad Attitude means John Doe, like an unidentified Mexican body. Jeez. No, Mr. Coffee Addict over here meant D-O-N-E as dumb with y'all crazy lunatics. But who are you, my third grade school teacher? Yes, because apparently you need one. Sure, I can stand my uncle, but I have a schedule and I need to post to my 5k followers so I won't waste my time tying him to a banister. It's harder said than done to murder someone you know. <sighs> yeah, I hate that nasty rich pay, but it wasn't me. I barely knew the guy, but from what I've heard, he wasn't a very likable man here at school. We all have secrets, including Mr. Graves. He probably just pissed off the wrong person at the wrong time. Right now, you're probably wondering, who murdered Jason Graves? Who left him on that cold banister, strangling on his own tie with no air left to scream for help? Who did it? Better yet, who could have done it? Me? <laughs> Krista Blaze, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do will be used against you in the court of law. You murderer! Can't afford this, so what you ask for? Ask for everything I got, will I pay cash for? Cash for Treat money like a dead torch. And I say burn it, say burn it, burn it, burn it. No worries at all, cause I know that a ball. I say burn it, say burn it, burn it, burn it. I don't check the tag, I just throw it in the bag. I say burn it, say burn it, burn it, burn it. Album. I'm so Rolling. Wait! Action. Wait. Okay. Okay. Wait, I found my line. There's something different about him. Quit! <laughs> means John Doe, like an unidentified moron. <laughs> well, someone is a born moron. I'm not done my life. No, let's try it one more. This damn town is gonna have half decent liquor. <laughs> Action. <laughs> wait, wait. She's saying bye. I've murdered Jason Graves. Cut. I barely knew the guy, but from what I heard, I can't say. he's a very favorable man. <laughs> I barely knew the guy, but from my 